Neil Sarut, demolition job at Ibrox and the potential of the last Edinburgh Derby not being shown on live TV. We've got a lot to talk about here, guys, so let's waste no time. Let's get stuck into it. Did I watch the 5-0 hammering that Hearts received against Rangers? No. I was working, thankfully, for a change. I was actually glad to miss a game. How did we lose 5-0 at Ibrox? Honestly, I don't understand. I caught a bit of the highlights, but it's, it's still not good enough. It's like every time we go to Glasgow, you just know we're going to lose. Now, a lot of the times, it's we actually play not too bad and referee decisions cost us but there is a few times where we just do not turn up and we we get des destroyed and that's what happened here we just did not turn up first half weren't good enough we sat back we gave hand at rangers the lead and we always do this every time we go to glasgow we take the first half off i think robbie nielsen's plan is to try and get into the break at nil nil but it never seems to happen we always give them the first half and they're always leading by like one or two goals. So then second half, when we do start trying, we're already a goal or two behind. You know, like what's the fucking point? Why not just tr like go out from the beginning? And in this game, we did improve second half. We were the better team for the first like, you know, 12, 15 minutes. But then Morelos scores the second and it's game over. It's done. And we lose another three goals. We lose 5-0. I don't really want to talk about that. But, you know, it, it's shite. Why don't we play... The same way we played in the opening 15 minutes of the second half. And maybe we would get something out of these games when when we take on the old firm in Glasgow. Because when we take them on at Tynecastle, you always feel like we're going to get a result. But when we go to Glasgow, we just... Oh, we, we play like we're a League 2 team or something. You know, we just don't want to... We just don't want to seem to get involved. We just give them far too much respect. And we, we play a totally different game. And... Essentially, we always gift them goals, gift them an early lead, and then when we do try, you know, it's, it's pretty much already too late. We're, we're trying to come back from a, a losing position, and nine times out of ten, we don't seem to do it. You know, we always end up losing in the end. So, I mean, we need to change our approach. There's no reason why our record in Glasgow is so bad. Things definitely have to change. But one thing that doesn't have to change, Robbie Nielsen, I've seen a lot of people saying that Rob, Robbie Nielsen out, hashtag Nielsen out. What? Are, you, are these people fucking delusional just because we lost one game, albeit 5-0? Bad result. I'm not happy about the result. It's a piss result. You never want to lose 5-0. It doesn't matter who it's against. You know, losing 5-0 is embarrassing. I think we can all agree on that. But Nielsen out, man. Are you fucking for real? Have you seen the list of fucking shite managers we have had? You know, ever since George Burley got the sack in 2005, we've had a list of absolute shite. I mean, arguably Craig Lafine's been our second best manager since 2005, and that, that tells you everything. <laughs> that tells you fucking everything. We've had failure after failure after failure, and anyone that has been decent, they've been like ran out the club after one year. If you look at Robbie Nielsen's two spells, he's actually done a great job. First time, he took he took us out of the Championship, you know, into the Premier League. It wasn't his fault we were in the Championship. And we went on, you know, he, we were sitting like, what, third when he left? Was, it might even be, I think we might even have been as high as second in the table. And then he went down south, you know what, fair enough, he left. And then we bring him back again. He gets his, he get, they say he's a Championship manager. Well, that's twice he's got us promoted. I mean, he got Dundee United right promoted and then left them, who were in the Premiership, to come... Back to us, who were going down to the championship. So the guy at least showing a bit of loyalty there. Give him a fucking break, man. To say Nielsen, why, yeah, get Nielsen out and then do a three-year plan with Ian Catherine and get relegated again. Absolute dross fitba. A fucking nobody like Ian Cathro. Right, Ian Cathro didn't they work. There's no point trying it again. What are we going to do? Bring in some foreign manager that hasn't got a clue. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Robbie Nielsen's working, right? We're improving under Robbie Nielsen. I think we'll get stronger under Robbie Nielsen. But results do need to change in Glasgow. But the, the, we, we, need, we, can, we need to change them a different way by rather than changing the manager. That's not the answer. That's definitely not the answer. Maybe... Robbie can change his mentality a wee bit when it comes to the Glasgow games, but a, a change of managers, uh, that is ridiculous. That is probably the worst idea I've heard, man, in, in a very long time. And being surrounded by a lot of retards, I hear a load of shite ideas on a daily basis, but come on, that one is bad. There's no way Robbie Nielsen should be fired as Hearts manager. I'd be disgusted if Hearts fired Robbie Nielsen after losing, or imagine even wanting them gone. I mean, sitting 10 points clear in third place, easily the third best team in the country, pretty much guaranteed European football for next year, but nah, 
Nielsen out. Ah, yeah, that's smart. That's, that's real smart. Bunch of mongoloids, man. Absolute bunch of mongoloids. And the last thing I want to talk about is Hearts. They've only got one more game to show at Tynecastle. Yes, uh, Scottish Premiership, Sky Sports are only allowed to show five games a season from each club at their home ground or whatever. So you may wonder, if you wonder why Rangers games and Celtic games at Ty uh, not Ty Castle, but Celtic Park and Ibrox never really are shown against other teams, that is why. Because the Scottish Premiership, Sky Sports, they're only allowed to show five home games from each team. So, Hearts have already had four. And the problem that they have is they've, uh, they've due to got two more home games left. One of those home games is against the Rangers. Well, they've got a lot more than two, but my point being is they've got a post-split match against Rangers at Tynecastle, and then the last Edinburgh Derby is also set to be at Tynecastle. So the problem is Sky Sports are going to have to choose between showing the next Edinburgh Derby at Tynecastle or waiting and showing the post-split match between Rangers and Hearts at Tynecastle. They can only pick one. Uh, the Edinburgh Derby, the, I think the last time the Edinburgh Derby wasn't shown on live TV was back in 2005, 2006. So it's been a very long time. Normally all the Derby games are shown. But however it's worked out this season, they've already shown four Hearts games. And like I said, there's still two massive ones at Timecastle to happen, but they could only show one. I personally think they will go with Rangers Hearts because I think I could, there's a couple of reasons. I can give you three reasons. I, I'm not saying I agree with these reasons, but here's the reasons why I think it will be Hearts versus Rangers that's shown. People would argue that Rangers Hearts is a bigger game than Rangers Hibs. The, pe the, the reason why most people would argue that is for the second reason. Rangers are a bigger team than Hibs, and Rangers will probably have a bigger viewership than Hibs. Come on, I, I would imagine Hearts and Rangers is going to get a lot more fuels than the Edinburgh Derby, even though the Edinburgh Derby is big, and it's big to Hearts and Hibs fans. You're going to get a lot more Rangers fans watching the Hearts Rangers game. So for that reason alone, it's going to get a lot more viewership. And the third and final reason is the Rangers Celtic title battle could come right down to the line. This match is scheduled for the post split. And uh, I mean, who knows? It could even be the last. Imagine if it's the last game. Could you imagine if it goes to like the, the final day and Hearts are taking on Rangers and they can't show it? You know, that would be an absolute disaster. So, I mean, for that reason alone, the title fight could be involved when Rangers take on Hearts at Tynecastle, and I think that is why the main reason is going to be Hearts versus Rangers that's scheduled for Sky Sports. And, uh, yeah, we won't get the Edinburgh Derby. It kind of sucks. You'd, you'd like to think that Sky, since they can't show it, since Sky have fucked up and already shown too many games, they would at least, like, could they not create a deal where they give BBC or some free to air channel like that the rights for one of the games i mean i don't know what the contracts entail and if you can just kind of make a deal like that out of the blue or, and I, I don't know i don't know what's written in the contracts but you'd think it'd be better to do that than, than let it go to waste than, than it not be televised but obviously sky probably won't do that i can't imagine sky you know happily just giving money away but maybe the bbc could maybe pay sky for the rights to show them but derby i don't know it's a potential thing that we could look at but I don't think it'll be shown. I think Sky will be like, well, if we can't show it, nobody's going to show it. Because that's the kind of selfish, greedy bastards that Sky are. But uh, here's your video for today, guys. Not a lot happening. Apart from Hearts getting absolutely hammered. Talk about Nielsen being out. And what, what's Nielsen picking up another yellow card? Like, what's the point? Why doesn't the guy just start every match on a yellow card? Because the referees have it in for him. He can't open his mouth without getting a yellow card. He fucking breathes for some oxygen. And the referees are showing the yellows. For fuck's sake. Could you imagine if I actually spoke a word? He'd be getting 10 red cards automatically. Straight down the tunnel he goes. But there you go, guys. There's the news for today. Hearts get hammered. Nielsen is wanted out by quite a lot. And the final Edinburgh Derby will probably not be on TV. And who knows? If we played the way we played against Rangers, I don't think I'd want it to be on TV. But Hibs are shite, so we'd, we'd still probably beat them. But, uh, yeah, overall, there you go, guys. That's it. Leave a like, share, comment down below. I'm actually going to make a video tomorrow and it is going. the topic is going to be hearts and European football for next year because I think 
there's uh, something worth discussing that a lot of people might not know, a lot of people might not realise, and it's something that I want to bring to everyone's attention because uh, next year's looking pretty good for us, and I want to make a video on why that is the case. But that's it, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching, and peace.